Hello guys, this is Brian here with a video on B12 injections. Um, there's many ways getting B12 as a weight loss surgery patient or anyone who just has low B12 levels. Uh, you can do your sublinguals that go underneath your tongue. You can do the NASCABLE nasal spur, which is a prescription, and, uh, and spray that up your nose. Uh, and also you can do B12 injections. Now you can do your injections at home like I do or at your doctor's office, whichever you prefer, which you probably at home is cheaper <laughs> instead of paying a copay at the doctor's office every single time. Or, uh, you know, you know, if you go to like a small town doctor, they may not, you know, the nurse may just not charge and just inject you. You know, it just depends on the doctor. Um, my B12 levels kind of not, I mean, they were kind of dipped below uh, when I had my blood test a couple months ago and I was kind of feeling extremely tired and the doctor said you know let's go ahead and put you on B12 injections anyways because on my new health insurance plan which is Blue Cross Blue Shield personal plan and actually it's all Blue Cross now uh, they can sell NASCO bowl as a higher tier copay even with a savings coupon it's still expensive and he said, you know, the sublinguals may not get into your blood because um, they were kind of falling below. I mean, not horribly low, but just a tad bit, to be just a bit, just a bit, bit, uh, bit concerned. So he prescribed me a three-month supply of B12 injections, and I'm going to show you how to give yourself one because they're very simple. Um, I gave myself injections in my stomach for my gastric bypass for uh, the blood thinner, so no big deal. And I have watched my grandma in my life get, uh, seen her giving herself injections for insulin in her stomach, so no big deal there. Uh, um, and I will post the link on the, the ge generic name of B12, and it's a long word, uh, which is, I don't know, I'm, I'm a butcher. And you can, you can also do YouTube searches on B12 injections. Um, but I have seen some people who got this off of the internet getting B12. I would not recommend doing that one bit at all. Make sure you do get your B12 from a licensed pharmacy. Because uh, some of them look like they came in a glass vial and all they do is break it to get the B12 out. No, that's not proper way. And, and that's not sterile at all. So you got to make sure it's like one of these guys. They come in different sizes from the pharmacy, but uh, uh, depending on what your insurance company will pay for, you can also pay cash for it. It's not very expensive at all. Uh, this is what the little one ml looks like. So this is a one-time use vial. They have larger vials that you can repeat. You know, you can use multiple times. Um, but these are like more convenient, more accurate measurement and all that. This is what the little guy looks like. Well, zoom in. And uh, the doctor has wrote me a prescription for these. So these did come from Walgreens. Uh, there's total six, and this is my second month. So uh, I have used two already. This is my third one. I inject myself every two weeks. So today is February the 1st. So it's time for a month uh, bi monthly injection. And what you all, it's real simple. All you have to do is remove the cap, knock like this, and break it off. And you get some alcohol swabs. Uh, depending, if you've watched nurses give you shots, you can use either two packs or one pack of alcohol swab. Um, but you probably may want to just do two, just to be on the safe side. Alcohol is not a sterilization product. It just gets the dirt off, of the surface dirt off of things. Uh, so all you have to do is like this. You always want to do this for the, for the uh, vial. And you get a syringe. Now Walgreens provide me some syringes, I think for like two or three for a dollar. But I went and bought a big box of them from a a diabetes supply in which I will post a link. I think I paid eight dollars um, for a box of a hundred eight dollars and ninety nine cents for a box of a hundred and the box of alcohol swabs were 
a dollar nine, a dollar eighty nine, which comes out to fourteen eighty three, with with shipping and handling at three ninety five. And this is what the big box of syringes look like. Because I didn't know how many I actually would need. Because the doctor said, you know, once we do your blood levels, he could change from monthly, uh, four times a month, depending. And it's twenty nine gauge. And these are, uh, these are what they look like. Uh, just the insulin needles. And Walgreens only had three of these left, and I got the last three or four. I think he said three or four. And um, before you inject yourself, you can either do this on your arm, your stomach, or your thigh. Uh, last month I did my two thighs, and now it's going to be my arm. You can either take the same alcohol swab or the different one. I'm just going to go ahead and do just the same one for right now, just for dimmer tray. And all you have to do is do this on your skin, obviously, if you ever had a shot before. And you fan it dry. Now, don't do it wet because it would sting. So you take your insulin. Pen. Now, folks, let me to be honest with you guys. I'm a, no, I'm, I'm a needle phobia type of person. I don't like needles at all. And this doesn't hurt. The uh, smaller gauge they go, the bigger the needle is. So you want to get an insulin pen at least 29 gauge. It won't hurt at all. And I tell you, to be honest with you, a finger prick blood test, you know, like, you know, like diabetes, uh, diabetic people do to test the blood sugar on, you, on your fingers, that hurt more than this did. So uh, I don't like needles. I don't like shots, but this is virtually really painless. I'll show you what the needle looks like. Uh, you take the safety cap off. And if you can see what the needle is, barely there because it's so small. Let's see if you can compare it, if you can see in the background here. So small that the camera won't pick it up. Um, now you, you draw the air into the all the way to 1 ml, which is 10. Uh, 1 ml is cc as well. You go like this all the way to the 100 mark because you have to draw the air in it and you tip the vial like this upside down. This My doctor showed me how to do this anyway. And you go like this and you, put the, you, you push the air inside of it because it will come out more, it will come out easier and you just draw it slowly. It is red. Uh, one ml is one cc, so I just realized that. And you just go like this and see how red that is. And there's no more left in the vial, obviously. And do it like this. Now, some people, depending how you are, you can do like a dart almost to your skin. I know it sounds gruesome, but this doesn't hurt, trust me. If it hurt, I would not be doing it at all. Um, and it goes like this. Uh, and you just inject it. I mean, you don't want to do it super, super fast, and you don't want to do it super, super slow, but enough just like like what I'm doing, just just a steady speed. Didn't hurt one bit, and of course it's empty. You also want to put your safety cap back on for safety, and that's how you give yourself a B a B twelve shot. Um, you can do it in the arms. You can do it in your stomach or your thighs, the muscle of the thighs, um, and, and um, or you want you know you can go to the doctor, let them do it. Of course, you would have to pay a copay on by doing that. Um, but like I said, if if you know you got your bypass doctor and you see your B12 levels are not right after you do your sublinguals, uh, just or um, nasal spray. Give this a try. I, I know the difference. I'm not as much as tired like I was. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below.